Hi everyone. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, again, thanks for every one of you for watching the videos. I appreciate that you guys um, have been doing great. I see that was 33 views so far on one of the videos. And uh, because of that, I'm actually going to do another shape part of your homework on page 233 and 2-34. So, um, since I already introduced the set, the set working directory and all these little steps that you need to do, um, I'm just gonna go. I just I'm just going to get right to it. I might do uh, things a little faster, but nothing, nothing bad. Okay, nothing difficult. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna start this part again. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the name part. Um, PRT002 the fault name. I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I think on one of the figures I'm gonna use again the front side of the of the datum plane. I wanna say sketch. Now the the, the uh, little different part in this case is that I'm going to create some construction lines and these uh, construction lines are set at the uh, are like dash kind of look like center lines in there. I'm just gonna create one in there around my vertical edges on my uh, on my plane, on my plane up, so that it defines better what I'm doing. All right, so when I'm done with that, middle click, middle, middle click, my, um, middle click to get out the command. And I'm gonna create a circle. I'm gonna create a circle in the center. Uh, and then I'm gonna create another circle right from here actually no, I didn't want to do that from the same vertices so that I keep the same density and I'm gonna leave it space in there just like that again middle middle bounce button click so I have two circles and um, okay um, what I need to do I need to delete this bottom part from the third and fourth quadrant I need to delete that and I need I'm gonna use this command delete set uh, segment so I'm gonna very easily draw across it it's done I'm gonna get back to my line command. I'm gonna draw from here to here. Middle mouse button click from here to here, and middle mouse button click. And I'm gonna okay that geometry. Control D for the whole orientation. And I'm gonna extrude this image. <clears throat> Before I actually extrude it, what I need to do is, or what I would like to do is, I'm gonna create another datum plane. All right, so this might this might be new, all right, but nothing difficult. I, all I had to do is I had to select that datum that I need to create from. So I say I selected the front, and I'm gonna extend this out this way, maybe by 100. All right, that should do. Maybe yeah, maybe 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 50. So I'm gonna key it in here, 50. Say enter. Then okay. So then now that I created a datum, the reason why I created a datum, datum, datum is so that I can mirror my extrude shape. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this from here to here. I'm gonna say accept that. And now I'm gonna get back to this right here. And I'm gonna use this command right here. It says mirror. So I send mirror to this datum and then approve it. So bam, there we have it. With that effort, I have two equal shapes. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to create another. Um, maybe I don't want to create another, but it will be a little easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the right side to create the block that it requires me to draw. Okay, so now we need to be precise. We need to be accurate. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a new dimension so that I have a reference line in here. Okay, like when you create dimensions, you create reference line. So I'm gonna select that datum and that datum, and then I'm gonna uh, model. Um, <laughs> I have problems saying the middle mouse button, middle mouse button click. Okay, and then that gives you the dimension. So you select the two edges, and then you give, and then you middle mouse button. So I'm gonna say okay. So exit that out, and notice, notice this. Notice that I can actually have a reference that I can draw to without problems. So I'm gonna say. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna create a rectangle from here to here. And I'm gonna prove that rectangle. There we have it. 
All right, and I'm gonna extrude this element one more time, just like I did with the others. But next, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna extrude it on both ways, on both sides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my control, my control, the ball orientation, so that I can see better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna extrude it just a little pass out this way. All right, well, but you might tell me, well, hey, wait a minute, there is not that chunk in between it. My, we need to get rid of that. Well, indeed, you have to get rid of that. So what we have to do is we have to come back here to the front and we're going to have to back to sketch. Sketch that. And we're going to select a loop or we're going to actually um, create an identity from an edge, okay, by clicking on that, on this icon right here. Create an entity from an edge. I want to select a single command and I'm going to select the inner arc. There I have it. It is done. Close. Accept. And we're going to extrude that. And we're going to extrude it on the opposite direction. Instead of creating this surface, what I want to do is I want to create uh, a solid. So by creating a solid, it allows me to remove material. Again, extrude a solid select the option and remove material now when I remove material this surface that I created will become empty I'm gonna preview it and voila we have our shape okay so we accept that and we're done all right I know I went a little quick it was a little fast but then again I think that you can that you can manage without problems okay I think that you can uh, figure this out with no problems and look at the video over and over again as much as you need it, right? It is very simple to create. Uh, I introduced the creation of datums and I'm sure you'll be all right, all right? Well, uh, again, thank you for watching and um, I might come back tomorrow morning with another, with another um, video if you guys, uh, if I get enough views tonight, all right? That is the only thing that motivates me to do these videos is if my students, like you guys, go in and use and take as much advantage to do that. It just I like doing this, but I'm not gonna do it if nobody do or nobody watches it. All right. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Stay positive and think positive. All right. Good night.